Welcome to Positive Africa and thanks for watching. In today's video, we bring you the top 10 reasons why you should visit Ghana at least once in your lifetime. Perched on the edge of West Africa and a diverse and bustling nation with an international community and a fast-growing economy, Ghana offers a perfect gateway to the continent of Africa. Being one of the few English-speaking countries on the continent, Ghana takes pride in its bustling modern cities and peaceful villages, where rich traditions mesh with the ultra-modern. There are many reasons to visit and receive an Aquaba welcome from the locals, and in this video, Positive Africa brings you the top 10 reasons why you should visit Ghana at least once before you die. Number 10, Ghana is a paradise for independence pioneers. Ghana was the first sub-Saharan African nation to gain independence, becoming a republic in 1957 under the guidance of Pan-Africanist and First President, Kwame Nkrumah. Soon afterwards, other nations followed suit, looking to Ghana for guidance and inspiration on how to bring together nations filled with diverse tribes and varied landscapes. Visit the National Museum of Ghana in Accra to get a full picture of the historical journey as well as the independent square. If possible, join in the myriad of celebrations that take place every year on the first long weekend of March including the annual Asa Barco festival that takes place on the beautiful beaches of Bijua, Western Ghana. Number 9, Forts and Castles. Ghana is home to more historic forts and castles than any other African nation a throwback to its tumultuous history of colonization and slavery. The structures left behind are incredible and sometimes harrowing, in terms of architecture and geography and stretch all along the coastline. They range from the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Cape Coast Castle to the English country manor style of Fort Gross Fredericksburg. The dusty battlements of Fort Metal Cross at Dick's Cove are situated directly in the middle of a lively and colorful fishing hub. Number 8. Enjoy beaches and water adventures. Ghana is graced with more than 540 kilometers of dazzling beaches. The downside, most of them are undeveloped. The upside, they are private paradises studded with eco-lodges and waiting to be explored. While some offer natural sightings, others like the Ada Beach is perfect for birding, Kokoloka Beach for nesting and migratory whales. Other beaches are great for yachting, water skiing, sport fishing or surfing while the Labadee Beach has a vibrant, partying ambience every Thursday with a more laid-back vibe throughout the week. Number 7, Immerse Yourself into Cultural Festivals. Home to a vast range of tribes including the Akan, Ga, and Yu people, numerous cultural festivals take place throughout the year and give opportunities to see ancient rituals performed in the modern age. The Ga people's Homowo Festival, held in commemoration of a serious famine, begins with a ban on stereo music. Lending to a peaceful and reflective air to the city and coastlines, the tribe does this in appeasement to the traditional gods. The festival ends a couple of months later in a procession down to the ocean to give thanks while dressed in white. Up north in Tekaman, there is the Apu festival where men dress as women and vice versa in a celebration meant to rid people of social evils. Number 6, Feel great music and enjoy good food. Music is very much a part of Ghana. Drumming, music and dance are vivid displays of joy. Any occasion is an excuse to celebrate with music and drumming. Although traditional songs to the accompaniment of drumbeat is more a festive expression, choral music is reserved for concert halls and churches. Much has been written about the food and cuisine scene of Ghana. Although yam, maize, beans, cassava, plantain and rice form the main ingredients, what makes the cuisine so popular is the seasoning and effort that goes into the many flavors that hit your taste buds differently. Street food and snacks are a must-do, to savor Ghana cuisine in its purest form. If you are enjoying this video, then remember to hit the like button and don't also forget to subscribe to Positive Africa for more informative and educational videos about the African continent. 
Number 5, Experience a Tropical Paradise. Ghana is home to spectacular national parks such as the Karkum, BIA and the Moleh National Parks, being home to thousands of wildlife and exotic bird life. With more than 5% of the land area under official protection, Ghana has tapped into this rich natural resource with community-based ecotourism initiatives. Ghana is a tropical paradise, with waterfalls wherever you turn, rolling mountains and pristine white beaches. The incredible biodiversity and magnificent landscapes offer great hiking, surfing, and canoeing adventures. In particular, the Volta Highland region is a must-visit for its waterfalls and caves. Number 4, Discover Some of Africa's Most Beautiful Rivers and Lakes The largest man-made lake in the world, the Volta's river stretches south from the Okosombo Dam to the northernmost reaches of the country and into Burkina Faso. Along the way, it threads its tributaries throughout most of the country providing gorgeous landscapes and islands along the way. In Kumasi, Lake Bosumtwe is a natural 8 km wide lake formed of an impact crater thought to be from an asteroid during the Pleistocene period, and it provides an idyllic atmosphere. On the Accra Plains, there are the Dentsu, Pra, and Ankroba rivers among many others. Number 3, Artisans and Craftsmen. From the Kenta weavers of Bonwire in Kumasi to the Gonja cloth of the north and the beautiful Ankara fabrics made into a wide range of styles, fabric plays a large and colorful part in Ghanaian life. Fabric turns the regular streetscape into multicolored panoply as the tradition of roadside sempstresses and tailors encourages everyone to become owners of the unique clothing. The straw weavers of Bulgatanga delight with their striped funky sun hats and traditional baskets that can be found pervade around the city under the shade of large trees. Woodworkers craft djembe drums of various sizes in the traditional art center as well as other delightful percussion instruments made out of calabash gourds. Don't also forget to check out coffin makers at Nungwa, that will take your breath away with their one-of-a-kind caskets that once took the fancy of former American President Jimmy Carter, who reportedly purchased two for himself. Number 2, Ghana is budget-friendly, less touristy, and has a very warm sense of hospitality. Ghana is yet to be explored by world travelers. So till it becomes a popular tourist venue, you can reap the benefits of a less frequented travel destination. Being less touristy, you can expect to travel on an easy budget and often get more than you paid for. The reason being, the inherent hospitality and warmth of the Ghanaian people, who love to show off their new modern avatar in its vivid forms. So expect to be welcomed with the universal Aquaba, whenever you enter a hotel, restaurant or a home in Ghana. With faces wreathed in smiles, bows and divine hospitality, the people of Ghana go all out to make you feel welcomed and enjoy the mosaic of cultures and colors that is quintessential Ghana. By the wayside, and some of us saw to the stars, and some of us sailed to... Number 1, Ghana is undeniably one of the most peaceful countries in Africa. Ghana is perhaps the only African country with a long stable democracy and healthy economy. This makes the place a safe all-weather travel destination. Crime rates are low, insurgency nil, and the country is extremely hospitable to tourists. This is a country where tranquility prevails, even during the elections. Why not check out this playlist for more informative and educational videos about the African continent? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also share your thoughts or experiences in the comments section. Stay positive, God bless you and see you in the next video.